Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Craze where you can see some of my technical videos and crazy videos. So today after all the black hat, black hat US, black hat Europe and black hat Asia uh, we will again learn how to set data exploit tool in Kali Linux and we will know what are the difference from the previous version and what to expect what not to from this tool and kudos to Subhamithal aka upgoing star from putting enormous efforts to adding lots and lots of functionality to the tool so let the fun begin As you can see, I am in the official GitHub page of Data Exploit project. And as you can see, like the commits are very recent, like 16 days ago. So earlier there were a bunch of requirements, but now it's just Python 2.7. This is the biggest change. And in terms of another biggest change, we stop supporting the GUI for data exploit. Currently, we are only focusing on the CLI part. We will add all the functionalities. And when we feel that no more functionalities are needed in this tool, then we will definitely work on the GUI. So currently, you can consider data exploit as a CLI tool. So what changes in this course? As you know, when this tool become only CLI, the installation process become very straightforward and it is quite easy. Like just take the git clone record and just do a git clone or just download the package from github and run it this is okay so how now we will learn how to do it for that there are documentations present in this folder if you go inside you can see this is how to download this is how to install python dependency this is what to do and then how to run it this is so simple and now we also have an email ID dedicated. If you need any kind of help, just, just send a mail or shoot a mail to this email ID. But there are a bunch of other ways I will tell you at the end. Live mode. Oh. Sorry. It will take some time. Done. Second thing is pip install all the requirements. So now I don't want to upgrade it. Done. Now you need to generate different APIs and paste it inside so that you will be able to run this tool. I can, I will I'm again mentioning this to run this tool, you need to have all the APIs created and listed down inside config dot config file or else this tool will not work as you can see I put on the APIs and now we'll go and try to 
टेस्ट गो टू डेटा पॉइंट चेक एज यू नो फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगनिंग डेटा स्प्लॉट कम्स टू स्टाइल्स वन इज अ फुल प्लेस स्क्रिप्ट विच विल रन ऑल द स्क्रिप्ट और फुल प्लेज प्रोग्राम एंड देर आर इंडिविजुअल स्क्रिप्ट लाइक डोमेन the underscore files are individual scripts and like domain ocean py username ocean py email ocean py these are full script so now we can run data exploit on either domain name or email id or username you can run you can read all the details from uh, here what is this tool about how to run it all the, those details it is present in page so uh, let's go quickly and run it do not forget to use i mean by i'm linking on our site because i think that's the only legal thing i can do right now all these details so you will start getting all these details similarly you can run email or send as part of email id and username or send as part of username and get the details so that's that's all so if you are facing any issues or any errors uh, you can either mail it to like okay Email it to us. Raise issues here, and there are multiple social platforms where you can raise queries. Like there is a Facebook page for data exploit, which posts generally ocean-related stuffs. This is a Twitter handle. You can tweet or DM. Uh, this is the data exploit presentation you can get it and there are data exploit videos in my channel for tech and craze so i hope now it is very easy to install and run data exploit if you face any issues you can directly comment it out in this video and subscribe my channel and to get all the updates